Kyle, thank you. The Bardstown community comes together to carry on a father's mission to find his missing daughter after his life was cut short. WDRB's Fallon Glick explains it all starts with a float in tonight's Bardstown Christmas Parade. Fallon? Elizabeth, Tommy Ballard had plans to build this float for the whole city to see and to keep his daughter's name alive. When he was killed two weeks ago, his friends decided to build the float for Crystal Rogers themselves. Adding last minute details, pink tool around the base, a candle for every angel and a light shining bright on Crystal Rogers. To have a float in the Bardstown Christmas Parade to honor his missing daughter was Tommy Ballard's dream. His last day, uh, the day that it all happened, that was the day that he was going to start working on it. But after Tommy was mysteriously shot and killed while hunting on family property, Where was the fire? close friends took it upon themselves to carry out his vision. You're going to feel all those emotions and you're going to give those to the family. Pink and white angel wings entering the Ballard home. It was totally done out of love. We just wanted to make his vision happen. Um, we wanted to keep it as close to what he wanted as possible. Private reveal to the family the night before the parade, the Ballard saw Tommy's dream come to life. It's very emotional um, to see. I know they, it's painful for them too, but it's also, I guess, rewarding to see that his wishes were carried out. But family friend Mary Taylor says the float has become something more. It's also a symbol of carrying on Tommy's mission to find Crystal. You know, just the initial shock of, of what's happened to Tommy, uh, I guess a lot of people are still in disbelief over that at this point. This takes everything to a new level. Kenny Harrell was a childhood friend of Tommy's and as adults became neighbors. Now he and dozens more are continuing his walk. Oh yeah, I'm very proud to carry that banner for Tommy. That was his vision, is to keep his daughter's name alive, to make sure nobody quit, to continue that walk for him. is That's our goal, um, to keep on searching until they find her. A walk that has turned into seeking justice for both a father and his daughter. And friends are asking the community to show their support for the Ballards at the parade. It starts tonight at 6. Fallon Glick, WDRB News. Thank you, Fallon.